Hi, I'm Tom Hackey and welcome to Inside Sim Racing. I'm here to help you get started. So what is sim racing? Well, sim racing is just a racing video game taken to the next level with real world physics and accurate cars and tracks. And when you combine that with online gaming, you get to experience what it's like to be a real race driver. So you're interested in getting involved. But, ah, you need all the stuff that NASA has. Actually, no, it's not that bad. Let's take a look at what it takes to get started on the PC. The very first thing you'll need is a computer that can handle these simulations. Anything built within the last few years should work okay as long as it has a gaming graphics card. If you are starting from scratch, you can build something for under $700. Be sure to check out our resource center at our Getting Started page and check out our forums for our buyer's guide. The second thing you'll need is sound. Sound plays a key role at determining the behavior of the car at the limit of its traction. Now anything from a 7.1 surround sound to headphones will do, so get what's in your budget. The third and possibly most important piece is a wheel and pedal set. Now Logitech, Thrustmaster, and Fnatic are the three big manufacturers for the PC. And if you already own one of these wheels for your console, it'll probably work on your PC too. Just Google the drivers and you're good to go. Entry level wheel and pedal sets can cost under $100 and the high end models can go as much as a few thousand. Start with a lower end model and as you progress as a driver, move on up. Next is the sim itself. Now on the PC you have quite a few options. There's iRacing, R Factor, Live for Speed, Richard Burns Rally, and the Race Series by Simbin. There are many more and there is of course debate about which is best, but I recommend starting with Richard Burns Rally or Live for Speed. Richard Burns Rally has a great driving school and really lets you feel the handling of the car and Live for Speed on top of having a school has free online play that you can play in the demo and really has a knack for getting people hooked. The final piece of the puzzle is a broadband internet connection. If you want to compete with your friends, you will need cable or DSL. A little tip, plug your PC in with an ethernet cable instead of using a wireless connection. Wireless connection is way too laggy and you'll just irritate your competitors. As you get more serious about sim racing, you can upgrade to load cell pedals, build yourself a sim rig, use triple screens, or even build yourself a full motion sim. All you need to get started though is a wheel, a computer, and the sim of your choice. And you'll have a great time racing people all over the world.